Okay. We can start again. Om Ajnana Timurandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nuvanja Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare All right, so we're reading Krishna book. We're on chapter number 80, which is entitled Krishna meets Sudama Brahman. <sighs> okay, so on hearing the statements of Maharaj Parikshit, Sukadeva Goswami was overwhelmed with devotional ecstasy. King Parikshit was a highly advanced devotee and he was very advanced advanced in understanding the Vaishnava philosophy. And Sukadeva Goswami was, uh, was describing the activities of the Lord. And when Maharaj Pariksit asked him to describe more, he continued to tell the Srimad Bhagavatam with great pleasure. Okay, uh, there was a very nice Brahmana, friend of Lord Krishna. As a perfect Brahmana, he was very elevated for, and he's very elevated in transcendental knowledge. Uh, 
And because of his advanced knowledge, he was not at all attached to material enjoyment. So he was very peaceful and had achieved supreme control over his senses. So this means that the Brahmana was a perfect devotee. Unless he was a perfect devotee, he couldn't be able to achieve such a high standard of knowledge. So it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita that a person who has come to the perfection of knowledge <coughs> he surrenders unto the supreme personality of godhead this means that any person who has surrendered his life for the service of Krishna has come to the point of perfect knowledge. The result of perfect knowledge is that one becomes detached from the materialistic way of life. This detachment means complete control of the, of the senses which are always attracted by material enjoyment. The, sense, the senses of the devotee become purified. And then the senses are engaged in the service of the Lord. This is the process of devotional service. So the Brahmana friend of Lord Krishna was a householder. But he was not busy accumulating money for very comfortable living. Instead, he was satisfied by the income which he automatically, which automatically came to him according to his destiny. Uh, this is the sign of perfect knowledge. A man in perfect knowledge knows that he cannot be happier than he is supposed to be. 
ราะฉะนั้นบุคคลที่มีความรู้ทิพย์เนี่ยคือเขาจะรู้ว่าเขาจะไม่สามารถมีความสุขเกินกว่าที่ความสุขที่ได้หมายไว้ให้เขาได้ In this material world everyone is destined to suffer certain a certain amount of distress and they will also enjoy a certain amount of happiness ว่าในโลกวัตถุนี้เนี่ยทุกคนเนี่ยได้รับความสุขเอ่อความทุกข์ในปริมาณที่แน่นอน The amount of happiness and distress is already determined for everyone บอกว่าเอ่อปริมาณความสุขและความทุกข์เนี่ยได้กำหนดไว้ให้สำหรับทุกคนแล้ว And nobody can change Or increase or decrease the happiness of the materialistic way of life. แล้วก็ไม่มีใครเนี่ยที่จะเพิ่มหรือว่าลดความสุขในวิถีชีวิตทางวัตถุได้ So the brahmana did not even exert himself for more material happiness. เพราะฉะนั้นแล้วเนี่ยพามผู้นี้เนี่ยไม่ได้ดิ้นรนเพื่อไม่ได้ดิ้นรนเป็นพิเศษเพื่อให้ได้รับความสุขทางโลกวัตถุมากยิ่งขึ้น Instead he used his time for advancement of Krishna consciousness แต่ว่าเขาเนี่ยได้ใช้เวลาไปในการปฏิบัติเพื่อให้ตนเนี่ยก้าวหน้าใน Externally he appeared very poor ภายนอกเนี่ยอาจจะดูเหมือนกับว่าเขาเนี่ยจนมาก He had no nice clothes and he could not provide nice clothes for his wife either ตัวเขาเองเนี่ยไม่ได้มีเสื้อผ้าสวมใส่ในราคาที่แพงแล้วก็ไม่มีให้กับภรรยาของเขาด้วย So because their material condition was not very opulent They were not even eating very good. แล้วก็ไม่แล้วก็ทางสภาพความเป็นอยู่ทางวัตถุเนี่ยก็ไม่ค่อยเอื้ออำนวยสักเท่าไหร่แม้แต่อาหารเนี่ยก็ไม่เพียงพอ And both the brahmana and his wife had become very skinny, very thin. แล้วก็ทางสามีแล้วก็ภรรยาทั้งคู่เนี่ยก็หอมมาก The wife was not anxious for her personal comfort. แล้วก็ภรรยาเนี่ยก็ไม่กระตือรือร้นกับความสะดวกสบายส่วนตัว But she worried about her husband. แต่ว่าเครียดกังวลเกี่ยวกับสามีของตน And she knew her husband was a very pious brahmana. เรรู้ว่าสามีของตนเนี่ยเป็นพราหมณ์ที่เอ่อที่เป็นนักบุญมากผู้มีใจบุญมาก So because she was so weak in her body, her body would tremble. แล้วก็เพราะด้วยความอ่อนแอเนี่ยทำให้ทำให้นางมีเนี่ยตัวนางเนี่ยสั่น And she didn't like to tell her husband what to do, but One day she spoke to him as follows. แล้วก็ไม่ก็ไม่ค่อยบอกเอ่อบอกสามีของตัวเองสักเท่าไหร่ว่าให้ทำอะไรบ้างหนึ่งเนี่ยนางก็ได้ได้พูดสิ่งนี้ขึ้นมา So we're going to hear what the brahmana's wife said to her husband. แล้วต่อไปเราก็จะฟังในส่วนที่ว่าภรรยาเนี่ยจะกล่าวกับสามีของตน So she said to him, "Oh, my dear Lord, I know that Lord Krishna is the husband of the goddess of fortune, and he is your personal friend." And then he said, "สามีที่รักข้ารู้ว่าองค์พระขวานกฤษณาทรงเป็นสวามีของเทพธิดาแห่งโชคลาภแล้วก็เป็นเพื่อนของท่าน You are also a devotee of Lord Krishna 
และท่านเนี่ยก็เป็นสาวกของพระองค์ด้วย And we know Lord Krishna is always ready to help his devotees. เราก็รู้อยู่กันอยู่แล้วว่า Krishna เนี่ยทรงพร้อมเสมอที่จะช่วยสาวกของพระองค์ So even if you think that you're not doing any devotional service for Krishna, still you're surrendered to him. แม้แม้ว่าท่านเนี่ยไม่ได้ถวายการวิตนเสสารับใช้ให้เนี่ยแต่ว่าท่านเนี่ยสิโลลาบต่ององค์พระควานกฤษณ์ and Krishna is the protector of the surrendered devotees และกฤษณ์เนี่ยก็เป็นผู้ปกป้องคุ้มครองกับสาวกที่สิโลลาบต่อพระองค์ I know that Lord Krishna is the ideal personality of Vedic culture นะคะเนี่ยทราบดีว่าพระองค์เจ้ากฤษณ์เนี่ยทรงเป็นบุคลิกภาพที่ดีเลิศในวัฒนธรรมพระเวท He is always in favor of Brahminical culture ทรงชื่นชอบกับวรรณกรรมพราหมณ์ And he is very kind to the qualified Brahmanas และก็ทรงมีเมตตาต่อพราหมณ์ผู้มีคุณวุฒิเสมอ You are the most fortunate person because you have as your friend Lord Krishna, the personality of Godhead. The Tan เนี่ยเป็นบุคคลที่มีโชคดีเพราะว่าท่านเนี่ยเป็นเพื่อนของพระองค์ Lord Krishna is the only shelter for personalities like you. กฤษณ์เท่านั้นเนี่ยที่เป็นที่พึ่งสำหรับท่าน And you are fully surrendered unto him และท่านเนี่ยก็สิโลลาบยังสมบูรณ์เนี่ยต่อพระองค์ You you are saintly and you are learned and fully in control of your senses บอกว่าท่านเนี่ยนักบุญมีความรู้แล้วก็เป็นผู้ที่ควบคุมประสาทสัมผัสของตนเองโดยสมบูรณ์ So under the circumstances, Lord Krishna is your only shelter. อาจารย์ตามสถานการณ์นี้เนี่ยพระองค์เจ้าชนะเนี่ยเป็นที่พึ่งเดียวของพระองค์ So you should go to him. โอ้ท่านเนี่ยควรที่จะไปหาเขา I am sure that he will immediately understand you. He will understand your impoverished position. Now, if, in that case, the Prime Minister will be able to understand the difficulty of the situation. You, you are a, you are a householder. Therefore, without money. You will be in distress. เพราะว่าท่านเนี่ยเป็นคารุหะแล้วก็ด้วยความที่ไม่มีเงินภาวะที่ไม่มีเงินเนี่ยมันทําให้เกิดความทุกข์ใจ But as soon as he understands your position, he will certainly give you money. He'll give you wealth so that you can live comfortably. แล้วก็แล้วก็เพราะว่าทันทีที่ท่านเข้าใจสถานภาพของท่านเนี่ยพระองค์ก็จะทรงประทานความมั่งคั่งให้ท่านอย่างพอเพียงแล้วก็จะทำให้ท่านเนี่ยใช้ชีวิตอยู่อย่างสงบได้ Lord Krishna is now the king of the b o j a and the Vrishni and the Andaka dynasties แล้วก็บอกว่าเพราะว่าบัดนี้เนี่ยกระชานเนี่ยทรงเป็นกษัตริย์แห่งราชวงศ์บูชาวิชิลกาอนันต์ And I have heard that he never leaves his capital city Dwarka. และข้าก็เข้าใจว่าข้าก็ได้ยินมาว่าพระชาติทรงไม่เคยออกไปไหนเลยจากเมืองดวาร์กา He is living there without any engagement. แล้วก็ถ้าท่านจะไม่ไปไหนถ้าเกิดเราไม่ไม่ได้มีงานอะไร 
and he's so kind and liberal that he immediately gives everything, even his own self, to any person who surrenders unto him. So because he is prepared to give himself to his devotee, there is nothing wonderful in giving some material riches to you. เพราะพระองค์เนี่ยทรงพร้อมแม้แต่จะให้ตัวพระองค์เองสําหรับเอ่อสําหรับสาวกที่ศิลปะต่อพระองค์อยู่แล้วเพราะฉะนั้นได้
four palmfuls of chipped rice from the neighbor's friend, from the neighborhood friends. And she tied it in a small cloth, like a hand of handkerchief, and gave it to her husband. And she told her husband, you can give this to Krishna. Without, so she, the Brahmana, after he got this rice, he didn't wait any longer and he, he, he took the rice with him and he went to Dwarka to see Krishna. And he was absorbed in the thought how he would be able to meet Lord Krishna. And he had no thought in his heart other than Krishna. He had uh, it, oh, but it was very difficult to reach the palace of Krishna because Krishna is the king of the Yadu dynasty. But because he was a Brahmana, Lord Krishna likes the Brahmanas, and the Brahmanas were always allowed to come to visit Krishna. So because this Brahmana, has, he was a friend of Krishna, he went there and he went there, he went along with other Brahmanas. And to get there, they had to pass through three military campsites. And each campsite there was a big gate they had to go through. So after he got through the gates and the camps, then there were 16,000 big palaces. Lord Krishna had his palaces for each of his queens. So the Brahmana entered into one of the palaces. He saw it was very beautiful and was decorated very nicely. So when he, he came into the palace, he felt like he was swimming in the ocean of transcendental pleasure. And he was diving and surfacing in the transcendental ocean. And
So Krishna was sitting, he was sitting on the bed of Lord, of, he was sitting on the bed of Queen Rukmini. And from a distance, he could see that from a distance, Krishna could see that the Brahmana coming to his home, he could see that Brahmana coming to his home and he recognized him to be his friend. And so Lord Krishna immediately got up from his seat and came forward to receive the Brahmana friend. And when he reached him, he embraced the Brahmana with his two arms. Lord Krishna is the reservoir of all transcendental pleasure. But he felt Krishna felt great pleasure embracing the poor Brahmana. He knew he was meeting his very dear friend. Lord, so Lord Krishna had the Brahmana sit on his own bed and personally brought all kinds of fruits and drinks to offer him. This is a process which we're supposed to receive a saintly person. Hmm. So Lord Krishna is the supreme pure. But Krishna is playing the part of an ordinary person. So he began to wash the Brahmana's feet. And for his own purification, he sprinkled the water onto his head. After this, Krishna smeared the body of the Brahmana with different kinds of scented pulps like sandalwood. A guru and saffron. And he immediately burned several kinds of scented incense. And then, as usual, he offered arti with burning lamps, ghee lamps. And he was offering him, he was giving him a nice welcome 
after the brahmana. Uh, so he offered him an, a nice welcome. And after the brahmana had taken his food and drink, then Krishna spoke to him. And Krishna said to him, it is a great fortune that you have come here. The Brahmana, who, who was very poor, was not dressed very nicely. His clothing was torn and dirty, and his body was very thin. And so he didn't he didn't look very clean. And because of his weak body, you could see his bones in the body. You could see his skeleton in the body. So Lord Krishna's wife, who is Rukmini, is the goddess of fortune. And she personally began to fan the Brahmana with the Chamara fan. But the other women, the other ladies in the palace, they were shocked at Lord Krishna's behavior. No, they were they were thinking this Brahmana is, it doesn't look very important. They were they were shocked to see how eager Lord Krishna was to welcome this Brahmana. <laughs> And they were thinking, how could Lord Krishna personally receive a Brahmana who was so poor? And he wasn't very neat or clean. He was poorly dressed. But they couldn't understand that this Brahmana was not an ordinary person. They knew that this Brahmana must have done many pious activities. They couldn't, they were thinking, how could Lord Krishna, the husband of the goddess of fortune, take such nice care of him. And they were shocked to see that the Brahmana was sitting on the bed of Lord Krishna. And 
And Lord Krishna had embraced the Brahmana, just like he would embrace his brother Balaram. Lord Krishna would only embrace Balaram or Rukmini and no one else. So after the Brahmana had received, had been received nicely and sat on Lord Krishna's own bed, he and Krishna took each other's hands and began to talk about their early life. แล้วก็เมื่อหลังจากที่พรามเนี่ยได้มานั่งอยู่บนเตียงนุ่มอย่างเรียบร้อยแล้วเนี่ยพรามแล้วก็คริสเตียนเนี่ยก็ได้จับ
It is the duty of the householders to give charity for others. And at the same time, be a good devotee. So these ideal householders, they're considered followers in the in my footsteps. Lord Krishna said, these people who do like that, they're following my example. So Krishna says, my dear Brahmin friend, do you remember all those days of our school life when you and I lived together at the school? Whatever knowledge you and I received in life was accumulated in our student life. So we will stop there today. Okay. We'll ask if there's any questions. We are hearing this very wonderful pastime about Sudama Brahman. How much Krishna loved him, how much Krishna was attached to Sudama. Arjuna was a friend of Krishna. Sudama was also a very dear friend of Krishna. Krishna embraced him. Krishna said, we heard Krishna was embracing Rukmini was his own wife, his very first wife. And Balarama was his elder brother. So he would embrace these two. But we never heard of Krishna embracing anybody else. All right. So here's one question yes. from Yuvati Sachi. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna dear devotees, please accept my humble obeisances of Guru Shishila Prabhupad. Guru Maharaj, Sudama Brahman was in Sakya Rasa or in Dasya Rasa. How to say correctly? Sakya Rasa, he's a friend. We just heard Krishna's friend. Krishna embraced him. Amwa Sudama Yune Alum Naika Krishna Yune Sakya Ras Liva Alum Heng Sawak Nai Luba Kong Puan Ka Krishna. But he considered his position like a servant, yes. Well, within Sakya Ras there is also Dasya Ras. It's included. Mm -hmm. I've explained this to you before. Yes. That within the higher rasas, the lower rasas are also there. Mm -hmm. So one who is in Sakya Rasa is also a servant of Krishna. But he enjoys at the same time that intimacy of friendship. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. บุคคลที่อยู่ในสังขารัสเนี่ยก็คืออยู่มีความเป็นผู้รับใช้อยู่ในตัวแล้วอารมณ์แห่งผู้รับใช้มันก็มีอยู่ในนั้นแล้วอ
Did the Chinese devotees come in Archana? Yes, Gumash. We have 72. Oh, okay. Good. So, this pastime of Krishna with Sudama is very, very famous. Many times we hear this pastime how the Sudama Brahman went there to see Krishna. I open thing he na na chin chom ma sing lao koda hen hen kram sam kham wa Sudama. There's a temple in Gujarat. It's in the town where Sudama came from. And one man built a beautiful temple there in honor of Sudama. Hmm. So Sudama is remembered today as wonderful devotion to Lord Krishna. Sudama ko pen thi sot sam son thang pachuban wa pen sao thi di kong Krishna. He was a special brahmana because usually brahmanas they can beg, but Sudama didn't like to go and beg. He just thought, well, if Krishna wants me to get something, Krishna will give it. Why I should go and beg? Hmm. So he didn't, he didn't like opulence, really. But we will see, Krishna gave him opulence. Although he didn't like it, Krishna gave him, he made him take it. So we learn many things from the Vedic culture by hearing about this pastime, about Sudama going to see Krishna. Krishna is saying to Sudama, it's our good fortune that you've come here. Sometimes you go to see people and they say, Oh no, why have you come here? You know, they, they don't like you coming to them. <laughs> they think, why you come here? You know, they don't like it to see people coming to them. บางครั้งเนี่ยเวลาเราไปหาใครบางคนทําการแบบว่าไม่ค่อยต้อนรับแล้วก็บอกว่ามาทําไมเนี่ยทําไม <laughs> you go to see people they feel oh no not you people again oh. <laughs> they don't think oh we're so fortunate you've come to see us Alright, the Yogi Tarada has a hand up now. Okay. Hare Krishna Gurudev, please accept my humble obeisances. Gurudev, um, sorry, but I've heard... Um. Yogita, you I can't hear anything. Yogita, I don't know what happened. You I, there's no sound from you. <coughs> Can you hear me now? It's not very clear. 
That's the best I can do, Gurudev. What about now? Okay. Okay. Uh, Gurudev, what I have heard from a TV serial and uh, other non-devotional books, I assume, that Sudama's wife was not very positive towards Lord Krishna, I mean, towards devotional life. So I'm just trying to get the exact picture here. She is, she was positive towards Lord Krishna. She thought of him nicely because according to the story I've heard, she wasn't very keen to send something or looking very nicely at Lord Krishna. She didn't think of him very nicely. Well, we don't get that understanding from our Krishna book. Ah. Okay. I just have to read that part again. From the huh? I'll, I'll read that part again from Krishna book, Gurudev. Yes, you better to hear these things from the devotees. Mm. You, you hear these things from the people, other people. They, you know, sometimes they like to make some, just like they do things with Narada Muni, they make Narada Muni, they try to ridicule Narada Muni. They don't understand he's a great devotee. And so sometimes they do these things they're like, you know, the wife of Sudama not being a devotee. I don't know. We don't, I don't, we don't hear that. Mm. Mm. Okay, good. If I'll just stick to whatever the words are from Krishna book and I'll just take that. You can read, yeah, Krishna book. You can check also in Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto. Chapter 80. Ah, Govinda, okay. I'm still in the ninth canto, so okay. Okay. Chapter 18. No, 80. The 18. same chapter is in the Krishna book. It's the same number in the Bhagavatam. Ah. Okay, Gurudev. I'll check. I'll, I'll read that as well. Thank yeah. you so much, Gurudev. Thank you. Uh -huh. hmm. So... Yogita was saying that she she read some uh, account, account of Sudama meeting Krishna and in this in the book that she read it presented Sudama's wife that she she wasn't a devotee and she was she didn't have a, a good mood towards Lord Krishna. Mm -hmm. But she, but it, but we don't read that in the Krishna book. Okay. okay. Um, ทำทำพอมาดีนะคะถามว่ามีมีบางที่เนี่ยเราจะบอกไว้ว่าภรรยาของสุดามาเนี่ยไม่ได้เป็นสาวกต่อพิชนาแล้วก็นางก็เอ
because there's no madhurya ras right in that level in the worship of lord vishnu yeah so sakya ras is the highest is it well no in well generally in vaikuntha the mood is dasya ras Ah. Okay. Generally, the mood is dasya ras. Okay. Mm. But there will be some mixing of there could be some as you mentioned friendship is there just like Arjuna and Sudama they're friends with Krishna, so they can they're also there. Mm. Mm. Because Krishna in Dwarka is generally it's there's not, but at the same time you see Rukmini, Queen Rukmini, you know Queen Rukmini, she is also there, and her mood in worshiping Krishna is definitely Madhurya Rasa, mm -mm -mm. but she's in Dwarka. Mm. So within Dwarka, there is, but it's just the, the predominant rasa there in Vaikuntha is Dasha Ratha. But there can there are other devotees there who have different rasa with Krishna, special devotees, because Rukmini is the goddess of fortune. Mm. So she's Krishna's consort. Mm. And then Arjuna is a special devotee, he's a friend, a very intimate friend of Krishna. So we have to understand it carefully. Yes, Gurudev, really, truly. <laughs> Thank you, Gurudev. All of Krishna's wives in Dwarka and the goddesses of fortune. So they're also, you know, consorts of Krishna. So they have Krishna's wives. <laughs> Some Madhurya Ras will be there, but it's not going to be like in Vrindavan. อืมเพราะฉะนั้นมาเจก็ถามนะคะเกี่ยวกับเอ่อราชาสําหรับที่มีต่อภาวิสนุเนี่ยคือในระดับเพื่อนเนี่ยถือว่าเป็นเอ่